Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster situation playing as the followers of Nagash on the Vortex campaign, where over the end turn, uh, Cetra and another army that's probably sitting in Kemri are going to make their way over to Ark the Black, who's currently on Force March, and uh, smash the crap out of him. Um, campaign itself doesn't seem like it's going too bad, apart from what's going to happen over the end turn. Now, there's things that we can do to try to mitigate this a little bit. Um, not ideal that you got to do this, but the alternative is getting caught in Force March, which is really, really bad. So, there's two things that we can do here. We could move this guy a little bit closer so that he can help reinforce. Not that it would provide a ton of extra um, assistance. Can't move Ark and the Black any further. Don't think there's enough uh, Regiment of Renown. No, there isn't. Because uh, the army that we've got here isn't really that great anyway. It's it's like bare minimum okay. So the other thing that we could do is kick Arkan out. Because he's used up all of his movement in Force March. Let's grab a cunning one. Do you have any one? No. Or just level one. Because he's used up all of his movement in Force March, when you tag out your general, and I've shown you this before, uh, you can actually change your stance. And because we went cunning, we can go into ambush stance here. Which gives us a 50-50 chance if they still come over here. Alright, then... Then we'll get you to recruit... Um, the choices here aren't great. I'd probably go with um, Crypt Ghouls, actually. And whatever takes one turn to recruit. What are you doing here? I have a feeling we're going to get attacked by that. I mean... He asked me to deal with this specifically, but I feel like that's <laughs> we're gonna have to deal with that as well because that that's if that's all just melee infantry that might be doable, but we'll we'll worry about this one first and then <laughs> that one next. Oh god, this is gonna be a nightmare end turn. Uh, but we'll see how we go with that first. Um, he's got a little bit of money left over, but let's just let's just get through this end, tu end turn here. So yeah, it sucks to tag out your you know level fifteen lord. But, I mean, if he's basically doesn't stand a chance anyway, then what's the point? Good, we got an ambush there. 50-50 chance it actually worked. And because it's an ambush, we know that Cetra is going to fight like absolute crap. So let's fight this manually. Like, Cetra alone wasn't... Uh, we couldn't even beat him. And we took him out of Force March as well. Well, at least in terms of order resolve. And this way, the other army's not going to be able to catch up. Not going to be able to make an attack this turn. They might move it over to the Black Pyramid of Nagash, but that gives you the opportunity to press the attack there. But yeah, that whole switching out a Lord to get them out of Force March stance is really useful. Alright, also this is large unit scale, which is fine. Um, I do say the instructions, you can send it on large or ultra, but uh, if you send it on normal or small unit scale, I'm probably not going to cover it. Uh, just because the battles feel just really wonky with that. Actually, the bounce power's in our favor. I guess Cetra just got like a bunch of auto resolve cheats in that regard. Alright, so biggest concern here is actually dealing with the Screaming Skull catapults. Well, it's not that they're a concern. This is not far back at us. Because what we want to do here is make use of this really crappy AI here. We don't just want to charge in there. We probably would win, but we'd take a lot of damage and we want this army to be in good shape so that he can press the attack next turn so why don't we get the hex rates to rush in there just wondering is that really the best idea yeah I mean they're not gonna be able to do much damage to us and these have loads of physical resistance we'll go and just take out the screaming skull catapults lickety split and then get the shit out of there okay these guys stand on the high ground here they're not likely to, to come up at us Uh, you want any mounts? Okay, you go... No, no, don't go with them. Stay here. Okay. So, don't fire at will to begin with. All we want to do is just... Take out the Screaming Skull Catapult first, let them set up, and then we'll bomb the crap out of them. Actually, why don't we just bomb the crap out of them now a little bit? Because they'll probably blob up a little bit.
But yeah, hex rates are faster than these units here, so just go in there, take this unit out really, really quickly, because it's not well defended. Don't stick around to fight them. Come on, hurry, 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 come on. And we're out of here. Go, go, go. All right, they did a great job there. A bit, a bit slow on it. I wish that could have been a bit faster, but that's okay. We only lost one hex, oh, actually two hex rays. And we are, okay, let's move forward a little bit. Okay, bring these guys back around this way. Cool, now they're not going to fire at us. Definitely would have been great if we could have used Ark and the Black in this situation here, but no. Couldn't. You know, he'll be back in a few turns. Alright, we don't have a wizard in the army, so it's really important that the artillery just do as much damage as possible. So we can get close to that army loss. This battle shouldn't take too long, but it's just really important that we use up as much of our range as possible first. I mean, if they're just going to sit there, you know, good opportunity to do that. Especially if they uh, keep reforming like this. It just makes it really easy to hit them. Alright, they're probably going to pop down there. Yeah, pretty sharp T. Uh, using it on the Casket of Souls, I think, is actually a pretty bad choice. The uh, the um, sorry the hex race should easily be able to deal with that. God, look what they're doing. We gotta be shooting into that. Yeah, having artillery superiority during an ambush battle when you're the attacker is so useful these days. And I don't think they're gonna change the AI from this. This is this is just what Warhammer 2 is gonna be like from now on. Because there's no more patches coming, I think. doesn't matter most people are just going to be migrating to Warhammer 3 and I imagine they'll have fixed it for that but you know I'll keep you posted I don't know at this stage I haven't played it not yet it's definitely something I'll be testing though all right so 400 kills with that one that's really good because it's like large unit scale as well so if it was ultra it'd... actually no this unit here um is actually more powerful the smaller the unit scale the screaming skull catapult loses 25 percent of its ammo but the casket of souls doesn't all right well okay all right so that's that dealt with all right let's move up with our archers they'll probably start charging at us a little bit so it might help to have our troops close by just in case okay it also would help if we reclaim another high ground up here if we go up this way we're going uphill oh hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on all right they're sending the big boys over here early that's fine we'll just counter charge them We didn't get a charge into our archers there. And if we could shoot back at them, that would be awesome. Minimal damage being done. That's great. It's, it's really important that we wipe out the Mournfang Cavalry. Actually, no. We shouldn't wipe out the Mournfang Cavalry because that is the only unit that can survive the battle. This will allow the army to still be standing nearby so you can attack it again. But more importantly, you might be able to draw um, other garrisons out or something. I don't know. We'll... We'll see. I'll let it go. See what happens. Okay, this one here's taken a bit of damage, not too many casualties, so let's pull it out. Try and keep our damage to a minimum if we can. That's it. Okay, we've got incoming there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really don't want to finish off all of the Mournfang cavalry. Because I'm just curious what uh, what could be available for you to do after uh, in the next turn. Because I don't think you'll be able to make it back to the Black Pyramid. Okay, we're in a bit of a mess there. Okay, that one's a bit damaged. Okay, don't finish them off. <laughs> but they won't go... Okay, just let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Don't kill them. Just let them go. They break one more time, they'll shatter. Okay, everyone. Let the archers do their job. Alright. Oh my god. Okay, good. There they go. Well, they shouldn't have gotten wiped out. Just let them go. Alright, army losses shouldn't be too far off. Okay, they've lost all of their speedy units now. All we gotta do is maybe chuck a couple of volleys in there and the army losses will be intriguing. But yeah, wiping out this army virtually at no cost, is a big win for him. Compared to what was going to happen, which was pretty much an unwinnable situation. There we go. Can't do any healing, but the casualties are pretty minimal, so we should fully recover over the end turn. Sometimes you just need to drop your pride and ditch your, your faction leader. If he's not going to be of any use to you in, in the particular battle, or, or if he's hindering you in some way, or you can provide some greater strategic advantage, uh, sometimes you got to tell them to go away for a little bit. Just like what we did with Queek the other day, you know? Alright, so that survived. What should we get you? Campaign movement range or replenishment. You're not going to need the replenishment. You'll, you'll recover. So... Eh, money's good. Uh, maybe he will force march back there. Or maybe not. Okay. Um, that just gives you an extra win. Uh, they're not doing that. Okay, that's a surprise. I would have figured that two armies would be able to beat that. Okay, then. Well, there you go. Yeah, I wasn't sure if they were going to attack or not, but I guess they just decided that uh, their army was just really completely full of shit. Do you have lightning strike? No. You still might be able to beat that. Maybe. Because that is... I will not True garbage. Soul. Bretonians are like, this is really easy to beat. It really comes down to your chariots. Of course, the Xandri garrison will have a Knight of the Roman there. That actually might make it a bit more difficult. Alright, this one here is out in the open, so it just gives you an extra win to take that out. You've got some extra units over here. It's good. Uh, you might struggle with the Black Pyramid of Nagash, but you should do it, in my opinion. Yeah, especially... Oh, yeah, it might struggle, especially because uh, Arkhan's gone. When does he come back? Four more turns, yeah. Well, that's up to you. At least you've taken out one army. You can always put this guy back in ambush stance. And uh, let's go kill that one first. Just get some extra experience. And then see if you can lure that one out. But yeah, that's, that's a lot of force to deal with. But that's what I was here to deal with. You've survived the end turn. Four more turns, you get, um, you get Ark and the Black back. At least you don't lose your army here and lose your, honestly, kind of unimportant hero, but very important casket of souls. Uh, that's uh, very expensive to replace. Anyway, a bit of an easy one to solve, but you just had to know what to do in that situation there, because I'm not even like I'm only recently aware of being able to do that. If this had been sent in two months ago. I would have had no idea because those two armies that we had to deal with, I could not win it. Would not have been able to win it. Would not with this. It just isn't strong enough. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.